In the first video we went ahead and created our first project, project 1, and now in this particular video we're going to go ahead and focus in on what was actually created. And I expanded project 1 folder that I see here in Eclipse, and I can see a couple different folders to work with. The first one is this SRC or the source folder. If I click on that you can see my package, and there it is. That's my package, that's the full name that I typed in for um, my actual package name. If I expand that, I can see this one thing called project1activity.java. This is where we're going to be modifying a lot of our code that's going to make our application do something. So I'm going to go ahead and double click it real quick so you can see this particular file and you can see that it opened up. Now I like to work with a little bit bigger workspace and my resolution on this particular computer is only 1024 by 768 so I don't have a lot of room to work with. I'm going to go ahead and close out of the task list. We're going to close out of the outline and I'm going to close out of this welcome screen. There we go. That gives me a little bit more room to work with on this particular computer. And now you can see that this is going to be where we're going to be writing in all of our code. And if you're a Java programmer, you're going to love this page because this is where you can put all your Java code in there. Now we're going to go ahead and close out of it. And I'm going to go ahead and back up a little bit. And now click here on this gen folder or the generated Java files folder. We will not be working in this one all that often, almost never, other than just to kind of look at it and see what happens. But this file r.java is going to be automatically generated whenever we create new objects to work with on our graph, especially on our graphical interface. We're going to see those things being loaded in here and you can see it's auto-generated file and it says do not modify and we're going to keep that advice and we're not going to modify this file. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this one here. And now let's go ahead and look at our Android 2.1. Now depending on which version of Android or platform of Android you're working with, you're going to have different tools. And this is where it makes the big difference for us. And if I expand this here in this uh, Android jar, you can see here, you can see all the different packages that are part of Android's operating system itself. And within each of these packages are its own classes and all the methods. And so if I were to expand some things, let's take a look at the Android. There we go, the widget. I'm going to go ahead and expand that. You can see all the different classes that are in here, and I've got a whole lot of methods that are part of this as well. If I open one up, I can see, uh, there we go, a lot of them here. So these are all the pre-built things that are wonderful for us for programming because I won't have to write all that code to do a lot of the things that are already built into this operating system. Go ahead and close that up. And let's move over to the folder that has RES, which is for resources. Go ahead and click on that. And I want to focus, here's this layout folder that you see right here. This is our main layout of our interface for the programs that we're going to be creating. I'm going to go ahead and double click it so we can take a look and see what shows up. There are actually two different modes to be working in with this main.xml. There's the graphical mode that's going to give us a graphical layout like you see here. And this allows us, it's going to make it really convenient for us to be able to move over buttons and so forth for my particular application. And then there's also the back end side or the code view of this, which is going to be all of the code that's going to be generated when we have put our buttons in here as far as um, which mode you prefer. Well, if you're one of those programmers that likes to write a lot of code, then you can prefer this mode. If you're newer to programming, you're going to love this particular mode here. I'm going to go ahead and close that though. And I'm also going to focus in the values. Now we're going to be creating a lot of different strings and they're going to all be held within this strings XML. And there's going to be more files that are going to be created throughout the course of the projects, but this is a particular resources folder. We will be going to this as we're developing our first project. And the last file that I want to take a look at here is this Android manifest.xml. And I'll go ahead and double click this. Think of this as the playbook or the catch-all file that puts it all together. And so that you can see this here. We're going to be coming through and modifying some things or just looking at this uh, at times as well throughout the development of the programs, our projects that we're going to be working at for our Android programs. But you can see here, if you click on the uh, Android manifest XML, of course we've got another XML file. You can kind of see some of the things that are going on with this one. For now, we don't have to worry about this one. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And we're going to start focusing on, in the next video, our project. And we're going to start focusing in here with the main XML because this is the layout of my particular project. So we'll see you in the next video.